Welcome to my course Mobile Communications, which I mainly prepared for computer science students. But anyone who wants to learn something about mobile communication is invited to participate in this course. And please feel free to redistribute the videos if you're interested. So this course basically gives an overview of mobile communications as we can really not go into all the details. It's such a huge field. Just think of all these many devices and networks from Bluetooth and Zigbee to LTE, 5G, 6G, whatever. So this course is basically subdivided into different chapters or bigger lectures. But each chapter contains several sections, subsections, and those again contain some questions and tasks. And please do have a look to these questions and the tasks because they will roughly guide you through all the material. If you understood the questions, if you can answer them, you're well prepared, maybe for an exam. So now let's have a closer look into the structure of this lecture. So why talking about mobile communications? Well, I think you all know something about mobile communications. Well, you know, smartphones, tablets, whatever, all these nice gadgets. But maybe you don't know, or might never have thought of what's behind all these devices. Well, in the end, it's the largest software, hardware, network systems with billions of devices, fancy wireless systems, many, many subscribers, that means you, many more kind of machines subscribing to mobile communication systems. And if you think of the internet, the mobile devices actually dominate the internet. Yes, we still have some, let's say, normal PCs, maybe also millions of servers, but we have billions of mobile wireless devices. So also these mobile applications really dominate the internet usage. Think of the devices you typically used to access the internet, maybe also to listen and watch this lecture. Well, it's mobile devices. So this also means we have many, many new possibilities, but also new threats. What kind of threats? Well, you can actually attack the mobile devices or you can use millions or billions of these devices to attack other servers. So today, if you think of your own life, well, we really see that technology is fully integrated in our life. It's 24 seven. It's the watch, it's the tablet, it's some sensor, it's your smart home system. It's almost anywhere. And if you think of the so-called internet of everything, Internet of things, internet of different devices. Well, internet of everything connected somehow with each other, we definitely need mobile and wireless access. We'll talk about the difference of mobility and wireless access in a minute. So what do we cover in this course? Actually, first of all, I will give you an introduction, some use cases, some applications, challenges, a little bit of history. After that, we will dig into the details, at least some details, of wireless transmission, frequencies, regulations, what is a cognitive radio, what is an antenna. I mean, this is all from a computer science perspective. This is not electrical engineering. So I will briefly touch signal, signal propagations, multiplexing, modulations. Even as a computer scientist, you have to know something about waves, electromagnetic waves and all these things. After that, I will touch medium access because this is special compared to fixed networks. By the way, you should know the basics of fixed networks, internet communications. If you do not have a good knowledge in this, well, please do have a look into computer network classes, literatures, books. I will come back to this later on. So medium access, this is really special because what is the medium? As we will see, there is no medium. We don't need the air 
or something like this. So this is special in mobile and wireless communications. So after that, we have basically the foundations. And then we'll have a look into the huge wireless telecommunication systems, smartphone, mobile, cellular systems with GSM and UMTS and all these systems, LTE, LTE Advanced. After covering this, we look into the local area networks, the personal area networks, like the dot eleven Wi-Fi technology, Bluetooth, Zigbee. After this, we basically leave the ideas of wireless communication and move on towards mobile communications, mobility, the internet protocols, mobile IP, ad hoc networks, routing, transport protocols, but also Internet of Things. What is special about this? And after this, we have covered pretty much of mobile communications course, but then we have an outlook. What we will see in the future beyond LTE, 5G, 6G, what is this? What is the difference? What is maybe 7G, etc. So this is the rough overview of the lecture. How is the lecture organized? I prepared not only the different chapters I talked about, but also short, I would say, snippets of the lecture that will end with questions for you and some tasks. So maybe you should look up something in the uh, net or you should think about something. You should really try to answer the questions because although maybe you do not come up with the perfect answer, you will start thinking about the problems. These are exactly the problems the end of the lecture you should be able to solve.